Tonight, we go where no man gone before. Monsters go! Woo! Treasure X Series 1! Guys, we got him! Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> Welcome to Adventure Fun! We got blah, 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 12! And the reason why it's Series 1, they're starting over. Because now they're starting a new series, kind of like Plants vs. Zombies. It's like wave after wave, they keep coming, all these monsters. Well, here's the first wave of the first series. So I think this is the largest Treasure X monsters that I've ever seen. In fact, let's take a look to see what's really inside this cryptic video. First of all, you can see his Treasure X Monster Gold. Awaken the monster! It jumps to life! Let's take a look at the sides here. The sides are pretty animated. Total six monsters to collect, and there it is across series one. So here's the first series, and then down below you got swap body parts, rest in pieces. Then on the other side, search through the spider web, and then awaken the monster, and then discover the treasure. It looks like a golden spider. Woo, now bigger figures. It's five inches. Okay, there's a warning choking hazard, small parts not for children under three years. And then down at the bottom, crack the skull. Ooh, this sounds painful. And then on the back. 13 Webbles of Adventure Fun! So first it looks like you pull something out of the coffin, a crowbar. Nothing good comes from crowbarring open any coffin. <laughs> I've watched too many horror shows, guys, where you pry open a coffin and that thing just gives you the boogaboo, boogaboo. See, I saw some of you guys jump. That's just all part of the fun. One, pry open the coffin. Two, lift the lid off. Three, lift another lid. Four, get the contents in. Number five, mix the contents into a glass of water. Six, lift another lid. Seven, pour the water into the coffin. Eight, pop goes the weasel. Nine, cut into a his head. 10. Lift out the treasure. 11. Pull the brain out of the container. 12. Put the brain into his head and then push on the brain and his mouth opens. Cool. Number 13. Put him on display. You got the fizz and ooze. Fizz sachets. Each 16 ounces and one spiderweb ooze bag which is almost a half an ounce. And then you got caution. Keep fizz powder away from eyes. If contact occurs, rinse with cold water for 10 minutes. You guys can develop your own monster if that gets in your eye. Johnny, what happened to your eye? Do not eat or drink. Mix fizz powder in clear container. Discontinue use if irritation occurs. Wash hands after use. Make sure may stain some surfaces. Wipe down all exposed surfaces after play. Important. Spiderweb ooze in sealed container to prolong the usable life. To dispose of spiderweb ooze, do not rinse down drain. Discard in general waste. Rinse toy and container after unboxing is complete and allow toy to air dry before storage. Retain packaging details for future reference. Contents. One character. One container with accessories. Two fizz sachets. One ooze bag. One treasure. One tool. One map collector's guide. And then one in 12 contains real gold dip treasure. Wow, guys. So guys, now let's go ahead and open this up. And to help us open it up, it's our count. We're looking for monsters just like me. We want to find many monsters. Ah, 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 ah. He feels kind of left out. A little minion. Okay. So, got my Swiss Army knife. It's just easier to cut through the tape here. And it looks like we got a lot of tape, but which is the easiest way to pull this open to retain packaging for reference later on? So I see tape up here. I'm just gonna start slicing tape here. And let's just do it off the back here first. Tape down here. Nice. God, it just goes really well if you guys have a Swiss Army knife. Oh, there we go. Well, that was pretty slick. It's just a lot of tape. God, look at that. If he was a track, he'd be Fangula, but I assume that's just the werewolf. He's got a big spider on his forehead. Let me squish it. There we go, got it. Crowbar to pry open the coffin. It looks like it's got perforations on the side, so we can just go ahead and tear that to be able to get the plastic off around the coffin. You got all these bolts on the side too. Man, it's cool. It reminds me of the first episode of Scooby-Doo. It's what a night for a night. My guys, what are you doing with monsters? It's like so creepy. Scoob, right, Raggy? We're out of here. Oh, yeah, Release. Yeah. This is cool. So let's go ahead and open this up. So you can probably take your fingernail and just start oh that's an easy tear see how this is starting to tear oh it's got a little arrow down here so you can go from top to bottom or bottom to top that just looks so cool pull this off right you can put it back on you got the little nodule here in the hole Ooh, before we pry it open, guys, almost forgot our quest map and instructions. Okay, we got two sides to it, guys. Let's go over the first side here. Man, look at that. That is cool. You got a raven. Quote the raven, nevermore. Edgar Allan Poop. <laughs> this looks like a little bit of a poop there, but it's called Wolf Wiener. Like, did somebody say some wiener schnitzel? <laughs> I'm not scared, not when it comes to food. Even Shaggy likes it. And then you have fishing bits. Tombstone of Doom, Zombie Fly, X Fizz Soda, and Monster's Brew. It looks like they glow in the dark treasures. I think they glow in the dark. The ultra gold dip treasure is Bling Back Spider. That's gonna be creepy. That's gonna be cool, guys. They did awesome treasure X. This is my favorite one so far. At least the picture is. I don't know what it's going to be like on the inside, but hey, that's the front 
outside. Let's go to the back now and see what we can collect. So guys, first of all, you got Goldie Slops. I don't know if he's an ultra rare, but he's got a gold finish and the only one that has a gold finish of the six. And then you got Wolf Shine and right between Wolf Shine and Wolver Bling is metallic finish. Now, Count Blingula and then Gold Swamp and Count Goldula. Now Count Goldula looks like he's got an eerie glow about him, like he glows in the dark. So guys, you got two sets of Swamp Thangs, two Wolves, and you got two Counts. So take a look at that, guys. That's your crowbar. There's the little part that actually is used to pull out nails. Well, you don't have any nails. If you look at the side, you got these little holes here on both sides of the coffin and put it in there. Oh, cool. It didn't take much. Whoa, totally awesome. Look at the packaging. Even that's beautimus. We got the bubbly bubbly boo. In fact, we got two bubbly boos. We got the yellow and the turquoise. And then we got some sort of suction cup thinger, you know? I don't know. Oh, it really sticks. <laughs> I couldn't get that off. Oh man, that really sucks. <laughs> and then look, you got your spider bag, spider bag. And look, it's a black ex-widow. Well, an ex-widow, you know, used to be married, now it's an ex. This is super cool. Look at that coffin, it's got spider webs. You guys touch that? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna pull this off, guys, okay? Cookie monsters in there. Oh, me so sorry. Me had to find a place to hide. Bye bye. Even the cookies. Ah! Okay, ignore cookie monster, but this is what you're gonna find in here, guys. All these ex widows, and it's papery. So, guys, the next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and mix our solution here. We're gonna become mad scientists. <laughs> We're gonna mix these up and we got our glass of water. Just one bite. Well, one bite of what? She's got the little bit of apple to take a bite out of. The apple that puts her to sleep for a while until she gets a smoochy poo from her princey woo. We're gonna go ahead and mix our fizzies in here. So we got two bags as you can see right up at the top. So if you wanna pinch above and below it, just tear it. Oh, look at the colors of that. You can almost see inside. We got yellow and blue mixture here. So let's go ahead and pour that out together. See what happens. There goes the yellow, there goes the blue. Oh, that's fizzy. Oh, it's fizzing up. We may have major spillages here. Okay, now we're taking this stuff and if I can pour it in right, I don't get it all over the table. Does that just not match the apple, that green drink? Dr. Heckle, Mr. Hyde. Oh, look, it's kind of smoking too. Guys, don't drink this stuff. Here we go, guys, we're gonna pour it right in there. Oh, it just totally fizzed. Oh, look at that, he's coming. <laughs> Let's go. It totally dissolved that webby thing and then it just popped out. If I had fizzy in my underpants, I'd pop out of the coffin too. <laughs> oh, look, we got to take off this. Oh, that is just nasty. <laughs> Ooh, nice color. I love the purple face. That is super cool, guys. That is totally awesome. Where's his eyes? He's missing his eyeballs. Yeah, maybe the eyeballs are in the gooey bag. Woo! We got our first monster. He's alive. alive. And like, I'm out of here. <laughs> Zoinks. We need the crowbar again. It looks like she's supposed to smash his head in. Oh, you are. Oh, what treasure did we get with him? Count Blingula. Did we get Bling? No, but we got something. That's cool, guys. A glow in the dark tombstone of doom. So that's what he had in his brain. That's what zombified him. Glad we got that out. Now he can think clearly. Okay, then somewhere down at the base of his feet, is the brain. Look at that. <laughs> Dig my fingernail in here. Oh, there we go. Oh, feel that. That's a rubber baby buggy bouncer. <laughs> oh, that's just so squishy, guys. That's so satisfying. Look at that squishy brain. Let me see if I can show you. Oh, those brains, you don't want to lose them. <laughs> so you can see the hole right in his brain and then there's a little nodule right there. So you're gonna put that and slide it right there. Oh, look at his mouth. Watch when you push on his brain. Like and subscribe, brains. That's what the Tin Man wanted. And you can too, if you like and subscribe. Your treasure has a hole underneath it, right? And so you can put that on here. Look, you found your treasure. And it'll be cool, we'll show you how it glows in the dark. That'll be awesome. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Oh yeah, look at our Count Blingula. I know something's just missing without those eyes, guys. And I assume his eyes are in this goo packet. So let's give him some, oh, I can't open up my hands are all wet slimy. Oh, thank you, camera mom, for these skizzers, man. Spider webs are coming out now. I thought it was like some sort of, no, it is kind of slimy, slimy spider webs. Oh, and there's his eyes, and his eyes are in a package here. It feels really cool. Just picture yourself pulling a million little tiny boogers. So in the spider web, you get these little green spiders. That's awesome, these little critters. Came with two spiders. I'm not sure if that's in every single one or just ours. 
Ugh. It's got the texture and consistency of boogers. I mean, I wouldn't know. I don't pick my nose. Oh, that is so stringy. That is so awesome. What if these are over a million spider eggs? Ah! Let's get the eyes out. You see the eyes, that's one side of the eye, but on the other side, you have these holes, but then you have a little divot off to one side. Try to line up that divot, and you'll know if you divot right. Okay guys, last but not least is our suction cup. It really sucks, no, it's so good. And then this is what you do. You see the little hole at the bottom of the stick shooting straight up where it pops the monster up? Take this extension here, you're gonna slide it into the hole and pull it all the way up. Put it in the hole, squeeze it in there, and then just try to slide it all the way to the top. You see now it's up to the top right there? When you push this down, it's gonna suction cup to the bottom of the coffin here. And look at the back of our monster. X marks the spot. That's where you're gonna attach him to the stick here. Back there, make sure his wings fit in. And then what we're gonna do, push him down, and we're gonna apply just a little bit of enough pressure to suction it down. Do you want me to count? That's what I do. One second, two seconds, three seconds. Ah, 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 he ain't coming up. Oh, Mr. Count Gringula, time to get up. Time to go talk some people, blah, 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 blah. He ain't coming up. There we go. Okay, guys, we've got a total of four coffins now. We're going to do four at once and see how many blah, blah, blahs or ho or. Well, it's a swamp thing, you know. Let's mix our potent powder, our fizzies. Okay, guys, here we go. What's coming up? Here he comes, our first monster. He's not sure he wants to come up. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Okay, we got two of the same here. So it looks like we just added to our collection instead of just one out of the six. We now have these two guys, the Wolverblings, and then we got the Gold Swamp Fang, and then we got Wolfshine. It doesn't have a metallic finish, but these guys look like they got metallic finishes. Yeah, I think they got a little sheen to their foreheads here. Yeah, so it looks like these two guys get the special metallics finished, the Wolverblings. Yeah, awesome. Now for a little noodle knocking. We gotta dig for their treasures. Dot, 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 dot. Goose! Do we get any gold in this one? <laughs> we got a Wiener Schnitzel, yeah. You know you like the hot dog with the Wolf Schnitzels. My Fräulein is the Wolf Vina. Then let's see if we get any gold in here. I bet the same common treasures go with the same creatures here. So we'll have another Wolf Wiener. Don't disappoint me. Give me another Wiener Schnitzel. Yep, we got another Wiener. Who do you think comes with this treasure here? Oh. Yeah, this just look like a chocolate cake, his noodle there. And that's our x fizz soda. That looks cool. And then for our swamp thing, I'm betting he's fishing bits. <laughs> no, he's the zombie fly. Wow, man, that's pretty cool. I like that zombie fly. It reminds me of that video game, Swamp Attack. Pretty cool. Those little bugs out there, they're nasty, those swamp flies. Now you can see what they look like with their creepy eyes. Woo! These guys are awesome looking and then look down below. So we got their spider webs and these ones that we opened up here each have one spider where this dude over here, we got two spiders. So guys, always check your treasure. And the moose has done this. That's creepy. Did you see that move by itself? <coughs> moose has done this before, guys. When you check these packages, they may have an extra treasure in there, common treasures. We've never found an extra gold treasure yet. We're challenging Moose to go ahead and put an extra gold treasure in for us to find because we're on the hunt for monsters. Okay guys, you want to see what it looks like before we pour the water on it and it dissolves the top part of the crypt here with the spiders and the webs before it dissolves the webs. And we just pulled that out and then we pulled our monster out. And if you can look inside, you see those straps? Those are dissolvable straps. When water hits it, they start dissolving, which will release this mechanism that just pops them up. So guys, we didn't find any other monsters than what we had here, but we're still on the hunt. We're Van Helsing, we're going after him. Well, actually that sounds kind of redundant, doesn't it? Cause Dracula sounds like that, but then Van Helsing doesn't, but you have a Dracula sounding Van Helsing. So guys, in our hunt for all the monsters, out of the 12 that we got, we only found four. And the others were duplicates, you know, as you see here. Hey, what are you talking about? It's good to have triples of me. 
<laughs> it's like, oh, we don't want that many of you. No offense, we want to find other monsters. So we're like Van Helsing, we're still on the hunt, and we're looking for the last two is Goldie Slops and Count Goldula. Now, Goldie Slops, I bet, actually has the gold. You find him, you're going to get that sloppy gold there. And then Count Goldula, he's the one that glows in the dark. So these are the ones I think that are kind of the ultra rares that are a little bit hard to find. I mean, after opening up 12 of these and we get the same four here, I don't know. We're going to find out. And once we find them all, probably post it again so we can show you we got all of them. Okay, guys, now for our blah, blah, black light. And he glows pretty cool. And now for the monsters. Whoa, look at our green monster in the black light. He looks cool. Our seaweed creature. And then our wolf man. Other wolf man. And then our blingula. Man, that really pops underneath the black light. Look at that brain. That one's super hopping with color. Awesome. <laughs> Okay guys, now for our glow in the dark common treasures. And we're using the black light because it makes the particles inside the glow in the darks charge up a lot faster and last a lot longer. And in three, two, one. Oh yeah, oh my goodness, look at the can of soda pop. And then the Wiener Schnitzel. And then the tombstone, woo! And then the fly, oh man, that's all awesome. Let's take a little closer look with the black light. And it looks like we're able to see our monster drink. You see the text on it? Uh, it's kind of faded there, but it says monster drink. It's got the big X above it and all that ooze coming out of it. Hey, they do have a monster drink. Uh, it's got so much caffeine in it. Look at it, it's just escaping to get out. It's killing the can. <laughs> and then we have a schnitzel schnott, Wiener schnitzel. Yeah, we'll come back to you later. Rip. We got our dim bones there, the skull. Super cool. And then finally, our plague, the glow in the dark fly. So let's go ahead and see him glow in the dark in three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Look at our soda. Awesome. Our Wiener Schnitzel and our tomb. Oh, it's cool. And it, guys, it's glowing. And it just keeps glowing. It, you glow, common treasures. And the soda pop, man. I wish I was a little can of pop. Well, I wish I was a little can of pop. So I go down with the slurp and come up with the purple. I wish I was a little can of pop. Okay, guys, got the black light on him. Ready for him to glow in the dark in three, two, one. Ooh, that's so creepy. Zoinks. <laughs> Please don't get me, Mr. Vampire, with your sucky things. So even creepier is he starts fading into the dark so you can't find him. Okay, guys, we went out. We got some more. We're not giving up until we get our gold. And we get all six of them collected. Woo! We're going for the gold! That's what we do here at Venture Fun. If you don't get it, we will. So please fund us. Do a like and subscribe. We've got our bubbly. It'll work with plain water, or will it? I mean, should we try it without the bubbly? Oh, that's cool with the bubbly. Okay. Bibbly bubbly boo. What are we going to find for you? Look at that. Clump. Oh man, Alka-Seltzer, pop, pop, fizz, fizz. Oh, what a relief it is to find gold. Okay, here we go. We got our witch's brew going on. Hopefully this time we get gold. One! Oh, somebody different, woo! Yes! Rise, my friend. He's got gold in his head. That's why you just can't come up that fast. And we're going for the gold. He's had a hard time because this didn't get wet. He can't break through it. We need more water. Man, he must have gold in his head. Oh, his arm was preventing him from popping up. We got Goldie Slops. Now, guys, do you think gold is in him? Because remember, there's a total of six common treasures you can get. So that doesn't mean we'll get gold in him. I'm wondering if he only comes with gold, you either get gold with him or you don't get it with anybody. And you got a 50-50 chance of getting either the common treasure with him or the gold. Now, what common treasure will you get with him? If it is the common treasure. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's crack some skulls. I'd be surprised if there was gold in him. He just doesn't feel like he's got a heavy brain. And this stuff just sticks like snot. Look at that, just like super glue. That paper reminds me of licking those postage stamps way back in the day. You had to hurry and slap that thing on before it stuck to your tongue. Okay, let's crack a skull and find out if we got gold. No, no gold. So gosh, it looks like you don't get gold with him. Oh look, his yapper looks good. I mean, we need his brains, right? But look what you get for common treasure. Fish heads, fish heads, roly poly fish heads, fish heads, fish heads, eat them up, yum. So for him, we got fish and bits. That doesn't make much for brains. That's why you got to put his real brain in. Awesome. Now we just need to find the gold. So we just crack his brain over here. Cracking brains for gold. No way. No way. It's a plastic again. They fooled us. This is the second time Moose has done this to us. They only put gold in plastic. They don't put common treasures in plastic. 
So disappointed, Moose. Oh, I see plastic and it just tricks me because that's what we're used to. When you see plastic, usually there's gold in there. I think somebody back there at the Moose camp is stealing all the gold and just putting in common treasures in the plastic bags and then hawking them on eBay for a fortune. Now look, another plastic bag. Well, nice to know. Our Wiener is secured from anything else. What could possibly harm a Wiener schnitzel glow in the dark? That you gotta have a plastic bag around it. Everything's in plastic bags now. All common treasures come in plastic bags where they didn't with the European collection that we had. <laughs> Only those darn Americans. They gotta have everything pristine. Well, for a collector, that's awesome. But I mean, what's gonna get inside their brains unless the water soaks into it? But you know, we only poured a little bit amount, not much. Then we got his eyes. We gotta put it in our Goldie slops. There you go, guys. He's got his eyes in there. He's cool, Goldie slops. I'm a model, if you know what I mean. I shake my little brain on the catwalk. Guys, we got four more, and we think we got the gold in this one. We'll explain if we do after why we believe what we believe and why we think we found the gold. Here we go, guys. Our last monster mix. We're going for the gold. Oh, that's so cool. We combined all the fizzies. We wanted to go with a bang, with a pop. That's our Alka-Seltzer night, man. This is what I need if we don't get the gold in this. Man, look at that, just pop and fizz. That is awesome, what a mess. That is color fastness. Here we go, guys. Oh, man. Here we go, guys. Gold Juga! Well, he's trying to get up. I can still see it. Either his arms are like preventing him from going up or there's gold in his head. Come on, wake up. Come on, little fans, you must come up. The moon is full now. You must come up and suck blood. Oh, his toe. His toe got caught. So guys, we think we found the golden him this time. With the first Goldie Slops, we didn't. We think it's in here. I think he's got the gold, so I'm just gonna dig right into Goldie Slops. We're going right to the chase. I believe he's got the gold. No, he doesn't. Fishing bits. Okay, guys, last one here. If we don't find the gold in here, we'll just go buy more. You guys don't know this, but we've been working on this for months. Here we go. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Oh, what a relief it is to find it. Oh man, that I only had two packages of this in there. That really went crazy. That's awesome. Here we go, guys. Little Alka-Seltzer to wake up our monster. Look, it's another Goldie Slops. Man, we're just slopping his Goldies all over the place. All right, guys, is the gold in here? If it is, we're gonna stick with our hypothesis and what we think, how you two can find the gold. Watch right now. Let's crack open his brain. Ooh, his brain does feel heavier in this one. I can just feel it, I can sense it. I have ESPN, he's tuned in. X, the ex widow. <laughs> you see, they're only supposed to put gold in plastic bags, not trick us with putting like these common treasures. Oh, the common treasures, super cool, guys. My favorites are the tombstones, the cauldron, fishing bits. I mean, come on, I ain't gonna eat his brains there. <laughs> This is so awesome, we got the gold. And here's the thing guys, there's no codes. They were all the same codes. And what we did is we started weighing them and we started finding common weights. So with our Count Goldula, he's all in the one pound, 1.3 ounces. We also found him in the one pound, 1.3 ounces, but we also found him in the 1.1 ounce. So we're thinking, well, with 1.3, he would have gold, but he didn't. So then this one, I believe, was the one pound, 1.5, one pound, 1.6 ounces. We were just like, oh, just, <laughs> and the horror, <laughs> just get these, give us our gold. So I think he's in the one pound, 1.5 ounces or one pound, 1.6 ounces. And the other thing is, we believe you'll only find the gold that comes with him, our Goldie Slops. I mean, he is gold. I mean, that's what we're thinking so far. That's what we've come across. If not, you get the fishing bits. Wah, wah, wah. We got to open this up in the middle of the slop here and show you the gold. Oh, he is bootimous. Look at that spider. Watch out, he bites. That's a monster of a spider. Moose, he says he's only 14 carat, not 24. X marks the spot, guys. He's got a little uh, hole at the bottom of him, so you can go ahead and just put him in the top of your monster there for the head if you want, or better yet, you gotta display him. You gotta get his brain case out. 
uh, the brain goes in, you know, the brain part. And then you put this on here. Finally got them all, guys. We had two of these left. We're like, eh, let's just open them up anyways and see what's going on. And guess what camera mom found in the metallic finish Wolver bling. Go! Ah! <laughs> the spider, guys. This totally throws me for a loop because now you can find gold in any one of these guys, not just Goldie Slops. So guys, I can't tell you now what to look for, except we got common weights where you're gonna find in the one pound, 1.3 ounces, this gold you love, but if it's over that and you find him, then you're gonna have gold in him. Man, Moose, you getting tricky on us. <laughs> but we're still gonna snoop around, but man, look at that, guys. Now golds can come with any one of them. Oh, this is so sweet. Guys, so if you have a few left over, don't give up hope. Just keep going through them. Just say, we'll find the gold. But man, you gotta crack a lot of skulls, a few eggs, a few noggins to find your gold here. You know how they say, hey, crack a few eggs. <laughs> My eggs cracked. Well, only crack a few skulls to get your gold. That's two awesome guys. We have ex widows now, two of them. So guys, we're on the hunt for the gold now, and it's one in 12. So I went to the, some stores and I went through all their cases. There's six per case. And I looked at the codes and we found some different codes here where everything else in the case was the same code. So I assume that's the one that contains the gold. But we've been fooled before in some of them where for some reason you got a different code out of all of them and that didn't produce the gold where sometimes you'd find one code that was different than all of them and you'd find the gold. So we're gonna see, we got three here that have the same code, but they feel a little bit heavy, one of them does. And then these are all different codes. So let's go. Guys, I could read you the codes, but it wouldn't matter because all the codes and the batches are all different. I'm just looking for one that's unique out of all six or 12. That go, oh, that code's a little bit different. Like for example, with this one right here, for the WS417221 space 04051, well, you're looking at case and if it's off either the prefix or the suffixes there just by one number, then I look at that and I go, okay, that probably has gold, which again, I've been right or wrong on. So it doesn't really matter about the codes, just you're looking for one that's different. And that always, doesn't always produce the right one so then I'm like weighing it out hmm am I that sensitive we'll find out Okay guys, one final thought before you open them up to hopefully find the gold is that with the unique codes, usually, even if you don't find the gold, it comes with uh, one of the fun characters or rare character like the glow in the dark vampire or the golden slops, all gold. Usually I've scored something with them even if it wasn't the gold with the unique codes. So let's go ahead and open up this one. Okay, we got brown. Brown goes down, but hopefully we get the gold. Let's just keep opening them up to find out if we got any unique special characters here. Oh, there you go. Gold for Golden Slop. Woo! He's my ultra rare. Super cool. So that color is Gold Swamp here. All the blue, uh, the wolf. Yeah, we found gold in the wolf, so there's a possible chance we got gold with him. Ooh, glow in the dark, Wimpyter. Oh, he's my favorite. So far, we're finding some unique with these different codes here, except for these three, they were all the same, but I kind of went by weight. So not always a perfect science, but over half the time, we usually get it right. Okay, then we got uh, Wolverbling. Okay, so we got a couple of unique ones here, uh, glow in the dark and golden slops, very cool. And now we're just gonna go for the gold. So we found gold in him before. How much gold did we find? Well, we'll let you know in just a minute. But first, let's see if we find any gold in here. Oh, whoa, <laughs> yes, we found gold, guys. That's cool. This one was unique code. Oh my goodness, that is so cool, guys. Awesome. So unique codes, at least apparently in this uh, batch here is working so far, the first one. I like to start off with a big bang and get all five. The Moose has made mistakes, you know, in the manufacturing, not on the gold level. We'd open up and you find an extra, like in the Treasure X package, you'd find an extra like weapon or something. I mean, it wasn't gold, but it was still fun. Golden slobs. Now it'd be cool if he had gold, right guys? Oh. Okay, no golden golden slops, okay? We could probably get two golds. One is really awesome. Two, that'd be cool. Three would be like, amazing. Another gold! <laughs> so cool. Another gold, man! That is so cool! And the ones that you pick camera mom, by the way, <laughs> I'm glad we don't listen to you. I'm opening everything! Two golds, guys. That's amazing. And they had, they were different codes. These last three, I was going by weight just because I'm like, sometimes I found gold where it was all the same code and it just didn't make sense to me. These were all different codes here. And two of the three, guys, that's good. Those are good odds. Okay, no gold, just a Wiener Schnitzel. Of all of them, I'd love to find gold. One of my favorites here are glow in the dark count. Gold, no gold. 
Last one. If we don't find gold in him, then definitely the odds are get the different code numbers. No gold. Okay, guys, the different code numbers have it. I went and got the other three because I thought it just might be one of those flukes. Oh, and the ninja gold. That was kind of weird when Moose first put it out because they had the light sword with the dark shadow people and then they had the shadow sword. And then finally production kicks into gear. And then the rest of the world gets it. And then it seems like everything starts normalizing. So, you know, hey, maybe they just came out with a few flukes that somebody just at the factory going, hey, I'll just throw a gold. You get a gold, you're gold. Everybody gets a gold, you know, and it just went in not the different ones that they could identify how much gold is going out of their pockets here you know thanks moose for the gold so how much gold do we have guys so far just with our uh, diving into things we've got two we have three Woo! oh well that one's not really sealed is it <laughs> there goes the collector value of that one is this one sealed no that one's not sealed either okay we got another gold guys cool can't stop there we're being invaded now and then we had to put one actually in the brain box there that's super cool so we got six and then finally the lucky number seven and this one's cool because that one's actually glued in i think i just can't seem to they didn't seal them in and so you know and get your fingerprints on them guys that's cool guys a total of seven golds now how many of these would we have to buy if we didn't follow our logic <laughs> it's one in 12 so what's seven times 12 we have to buy 84 of these and we had to make sure that when we bought 84 that nobody else was tinkering with them that we got the cleaned 12 that had one in 12 of the two different cases of six so woo we go for the gold please click on one of these videos for more events of fun